and the prayers of my heart. Yeah, prayer, prayer is a, a very interesting topic because um, you might say a, a synonym or a word that means the same thing as prayer is desire. So, whenever you have a desire for anything, that is the prayer of your heart. And what we're really trying to do, and this is more in line with where Armel was taking you and talking, is, is that if you think of like the core of your heart is like the desire or like the altar, the altar, like temples have altars, uh, whether it's Jewish or Christian or Buddhist or whatever, that ultimately what you want to do is you want to clean the altar. You want to clear the altar of every desire for idols and then leave the altar empty because that's kind of a way of saying, just you God, nothing else but you. You know, kind of like in the Bible, you know, it's, it's lo like, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and might, and, and hold no graven images before God. And it's, it's in all different traditions and spiritualities about really having peace or love and God at the core and then letting go of everything else. Now, when the mind falls asleep and believes in the ego, it can't help but pray for idols. Because coming to earth means that, that there's a desire in the mind for idols. Nobody comes here with no desires. They wouldn't come here. <laughs> there's no need to leave nirvana or leave heaven if you just are, are one and you know who you are. But the mind falling asleep and dreaming of a world of separation. So, you're going to have, there's going to be desires there, there's going to be prayers, and you might think of the return back to that pristine state as kind of like a ladder of prayer. And so, the most important thing about prayer is, is don't try to skip over any steps. So, if you heard, you are whole and complete and perfect, you have no needs, all you have to do is accept your completion, your perfection, and, and your mind goes, I don't get it. <laughs> That's because there are steps that you will go through to get it, you know, to experience it. And the most important thing is, is looking at, at really the purpose or the motivation. It's, the, it's God knows the prayer of the heart before a word is spoken. And while the ego is still in the unconscious mind, you cannot help but pray for things for specific, for people, you know, it's quite common, you know, pray for my mother, uh, I pray for my mother's physical and psychological health, or I pray that I, I be, have a safe trip uh, on my travels here, or so on and so forth. But you do notice as you go higher up the ladder that whenever you're praying for specifics, you're still praying for the past to be repeated in some way that you think is good or better. And, and the prayer is still getting lifted up towards that, you know, let me accept myself as God created me, as pure love. That's, that's the highest prayer, is let me know myself as I truly am, as you created me. There can be no higher prayer than that. But it will just be a, very much like our one-on-one -on -one the other day, I said, Oh, you'll just be taken and carried and carried, and your prayers will go higher and higher and higher and higher, because that's the natural movement of all those prayers, to go up there. And then we, we could say that the final prayer is more just, again, a prayer of acceptance. Let me accept myself exactly as I am, exactly as you created me. But you can't skip over all the others, you know, it would, it just short circuits the whole thing, you know. You know, to just say the words without having it be truly where your heart's desire is, you know, is kind of just trying to leapfrog. And so you have to, you know, be practical. You're a natural prayer, so <laughs> let's keep up up the ladder you go. I'll see you there. <laughs> And I'm with you every step of the way, uh, <laughs> as well, too. Yeah, great.